Hi, Bill here. I'd like to talk about how you can use the threat of queening your pawn to gain material by blocking the defender. So we're looking at how you can queen a pawn by blocking a piece that's defending the queening square. So in this case, white moves his knight to block the rook from defending the queening square and the pawn guards the knight. So that's a common trick. You can use the uh, one or two squares that the pawn defends as a square you can block a defending piece. So in this case we just block with a bishop instead of a knight. Bishop goes in and again next move the pawn will promote. Okay so here, here we have the king not too far away and the rook is attacking the rook. If white swaps rooks the king will be in the square so white advances a pawn the rook goes back to defend and now white does the blocking move this time with a rook and the pawn will queen. So here this time the pawn's on the 6th rank, white blocks with the bishop and now black moves his king a bit closer now the pawn advances and the pawn will queen. This time white blocks with the bishop. The black bishop's well placed, it's on the long diagonal defending the queening square so a mistake by white would be to rush the pawn up to the 7th rank too quickly so what white does is move the bishop to drive the defending bishop away. If black swaps the pawn will queen the bishop moves away, the pawn would queen anyway. So that's the end of the section. So that was just a few positions where you could queen a, queen a pawn by blocking the defender. Thank you for watching.